My name is uh, Dr. Matthew Samra. I've been practicing in the area for um, about 10 years uh, doing uh, vascular surgery. I fell in love with the Manahawkin area in Southern Ocean Medical Center. We treat uh, everything from uh, aneurysm disease to um, carotid artery disease to uh, arterial disease in legs and different um, blood vessels. We do a lot of vein work, um, varicose veins, spider veins, and, and uh, people with uh, bigger vein problems as well. If somebody is at risk for heart disease, they are at risk for vascular disease. The reason is this, atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, calcium, um, all these things, essentially cousins of the same family. So uh, if you have heart problems, the chances are you have vascular problems and vice versa. A lot of times you can avoid uh, doing procedures on patients just by modifying the risk factors, telling them to stop smoking, and uh, you know, glucose control, blood, blood pressure control, taking a cholesterol medication, and then treating it medically to try to avoid any you know, in invasive procedures. Down the line though, as things get more severe, sometimes invasive procedures are absolutely necessary. About 90% of our peripheral arterial diseases we can treat minimally invasively nowadays such as uh, balloon angioplasty, drug-coated balloons, stenting, atherectomy. We have a whole host of, um, of techniques in our armamentarium that allow us to do that. 10 to 20 percent, unfortunately, have to be referred to surgery. It's better to avoid getting uh, peripheral arterial disease, and that's basically at a very young age, just you know, trying to do all the right things for your health. Exercise, good eating hab habits, going to the doctor, making sure that your, your glucose is good and your cholesterol is good and your blood pressure is good and, um, and the most, honestly the most important risk factor is to avoid tobacco at all costs. It's really important to go see your doctor if you think you have risk factors or are having pain or problems. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure so you don't want to find out too late.